Hey, so this video is about playing with colors or simply making a one object colorful and the rest of the video black and white. In this video we are going to learn two ways of how to make it simple and fast. I have used this effect in my London trip video. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out. So I have here two video clips for each method. Let's start with the easier method. We have here flowers. In order to make a background gray and leave a purple color of the flowers, go to effects and look for leaf color effect. Drag it on the video. And in the color to leaf panel, choose a selection pen to choose the color, in this case purple one. To make a background black and white, simply increase amount of the color to 100%. Simple as that. To get better results, try to adjust tolerance. I would say that between 10 and 20% is the perfect spot, because the more we increase it, the more colors we are going to see. Same with the edge softness. 10% is the perfect amount. And of course, we can choose a match colors method between using hue or RGB. Hue is basically a single value representing a color, not necessary luminance or brightness, just a pure color of something while RGB stands for red, green and blue colors, which are the main primary colors and these colors can be combined to a produce of color gamut. Well, you can read more about that. As we can see by choosing between hue and RGB, we can see difference in colors. Now, the second clip and the second method. We have here a flower. In order to leave its red color, let's find a lumetri color effect and apply it to the video clip. Now go to Effect Controls and find HSL Secondary Colors. To select a color we would like to leave, let's go to Key and Set Color, take a selection pen and choose a red color of the flower. In order to see what we have selected, scroll down a little and let's click on Show Mask. We can see a flower with a gray spaces in it. Select Add Color button and click on the flower where the red color should be in order to see the whole flower. As you can see it is perfect now. Turn off the mask, click on invert the mask and scroll down to the bottom and reduce saturation until 0%. And that's it, as you can see we have here a red flower and a black and white background. Or we can adjust these color lines to get the same result. Once again, pick a red color using a color picker, click on show mask to see better what we have selected. To understand better what we are doing, we have to know that HSL stands for Hue, Saturation and Luminance. Once we have picked a color with a pen, I really recommend not to adjust hue line so much, because we have selected a red color. In this particular video clip, I find that the most important line is Luminance. I adjusted a lot to get a better results on the flower's color. Also, I adjusted Saturation a little to get most of the color. I believe that it depends on the video, but in this case I prefer to use a color picker. In other videos it is harder to make it with only a color picker, so try to use HSL lines. Don't forget that HSL stands for Hue, Saturation and Luminance. So that concludes my today's video. I will leave a link to the video clips that I have used, so you guys can try to make it by yourself. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to keep creating and as always, thanks for watching.